Alrighty, everybody, what is going on? We continue in the hockey card collections today with the Ottawa Senators. Quite the collection we have here. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven full pages of Ottawa Senators cards. So this video may be a little bit faster than some of the previous ones, but nonetheless, enjoy the hockey card collection. Alrighty, so let's get into it here. Starting off with the captains, because we have no like team overview type cards. Uh, starting off with Daniel Alfredson, this is a Scoring Kings card, so an interesting type card there. Uh, so let's read the back. Alfredson ranked in the top 10 in three key categories. ninth in goals, 8th in assists, and 4th in points. And then you also have his base upper deck card as well. In the best season of his career in 2005-2006, Alfredson, a Gothenburg, Sweden native, Ranked ninth in goals, 8th in assists, and 4th in points in the NHL. And he also finished the point postseason with 10 points, 2 goals, 8 assists in 10 games. So, uh, those cards were actually both from the same year. Next up, you have Wade Redden. So, interesting captain there, defenseman. Uh, Redden had yet another productive season in 2005-2006 when he was tied 28th among defensemen in goals scored and 11th in assists. So... Pretty cool stat there for Wade. Next up, the um, Eric Carlson, the one, the only. Um, Carlson's 20 and 21st goals of the season. Uh, each of the past two se wait, Carlson's 20 and 21 goal seasons, each of the past two seasons, are the two best by a defenseman in Senators history. He won the Norris Trophy for the second time in 2014 15. Uh, next up, moving on to more recent players, you have Thomas Shabbat. Uh, Shabbat's goal against the Canadians on May 1st, 2021 was 150th career point. And then you have his OPG card there as well. Next up now, you have Brady Kachuk. Little assistant captaincy card there. Kachuk scored in Toronto in his... Scored in Toronto for his 100th NHL goal point in his 160th NHL game on February 17th, 2021. Uh, then you have his base card. Uh, Kachuk, went, Kachuk ranked 8th in the NHL in shots since 2019-20 when he peppered opponents peppered opponents nets with 259 pucks while nearing you know, while nearly equaling the production of his fine rookie season. He spent 106 minutes of his sophomore campaign in the penalty box in a place where only two other players in the league spent more time. Uh, then you have his all-star card there. Kachuk made his NHL all-star debut in his hometown in St. Louis in 2020. He set up Jonathan Huberto's first period marker at, at the Atlantic Divi as the Atlantic Division battled his older brother, Matthew, and the Pacific Division in the championship on January 25th. And then you also have his base upper deck card. Or, his, or one of his base upper deck cards. Uh, Kachuk, who was in a trio of three out points. Who was in a who had a trio of three point outings in 2018, 19, and 2019 seasons? Over 2021, with a three point effort against the Toronto Maple Leafs on January 15th, he scored a goal and an assist, and and assisted on tallies by Chris Tierney and Derek Stepan, leading the host Ottawa to a five to three victory. See that I'm already butchering names. Next up, you have Eric Goodbranson. Uh, he's been to a couple places since this card with Ottawa was taken, uh, Calgary, and now he's with Columbus. Signed a ridiculous contract. Uh, Gabranson's first goal of the 2020-21 campaign was a game winner in Ottawa's 6-1 home victory over the Calgary Flames on February 25th. The win was the third straight for the Senators. And it's weird because it, it seemed like Calgary like struggled with Ottawa this year, that year. And like, it seems like almost every team in that Canadian division struggled with Ottawa, even though Ottawa was bad. Like It, it just seemed like every team struggled with them. Uh, next up, you have Norm McIver. McIver. However you say that, apologies. Uh, those stats there. Next up, then, you have Chris Neal. Uh, Neal picked up two assists, including setting up Mike Hoffman's game winner and Ottawa's 3-2 victory over the visiting Blue Jackets on October 18th, 2014. After that, then, you have Steve Duchesne. Uh, playing for St. Louis in 1994-95, Steve led the Blues in plus-minus, plus-29, tied for second in the league. He was third in team scoring and was fifth among NHL defensemen in points. So, interesting stats there for Duchesne. Next up, you have Mark Stone, 
Senators could just not get him the extension he wanted. Uh, Stone tallied 12 multi-point games for the Senators during the 2016-17 season, topped by a five-point outing, one goal, four assists, five points, and a 6-3 win over Toronto on February 18th. And then you have his Parkhurst card there as well. After that, then, you have Kerry Huffman. Both of Kerry's goals last season came from the power play. Kerry was a first-round draft pick by Philadelphia in 1986. He made his initial debut shortly after on age 18, at age 18. He was an OHL first-team All-Star in 1987. Next up, we have a few cards here for Bobby Ryan. Definitely one of my favorite Senators of all time. I'm fortunate that he retired. Never, never really got the chance that he deserved, obviously, because he was... A um, yeah, a, the alcohol issues and all that stuff. Uh, Ryan recorded four multi-point games for the Senators during the 2016-17 season, including one goal and an assist and assist outings against Toronto on October 12th, Chicago, and Buffalo. I keep butcher. I keep like saying the wrong things. Uh, next up, you have his MVP card, and then you have his 2014-15 base card as well. Uh, Ryan assisted on a pair of second period goals, then scored an empty net empty net marker of his own in his first of the 2015-16 season. Ottawa's 7-3 victory at Columbus on October 14th. Next up, we have the Upper Deck 1994 World Tour, and this goes for Radek Bauk. So interesting name there. Uh, next up, we have a UD canvas for Colin White. I'm going to start separating these UD canvases eventually. Next up now, we have a card for Danny Heatley. Heatley card there for uh, Power Play? Or just Upper Deck. Heatley pa paired with Danny Lafferton to become the first teammates to, score, to both score 100 points since 1998-1999. Next up, we have Evgeny Dadnov. Obviously, Dadnov's been on quite the journey, on quite the journey since being uh, dealt away to Vegas from Ottawa. He was dealt to Anaheim, and then he wasn't, and then he got dealt to Montreal. So Dadnov's kind of going all over the place. Dadnov scored the game tying goal late in the third period, and then tallied tallied two nineteen into overtime to give the Senators a six to five victory over the host Maple Leafs on February fifteenth, twenty twenty one. Next up, you have Joe Corvo. Uh, after three seasons in Los Angeles, Corvo signed a multi-year deal with the Senators and has joined a talented Ottawa Blue Line. Last season, the Illinois native led all Kings defensemen in shots on goal. He should figure out many victories with his new team. After that, then you have Sylvain Turgeon. Overcoming a slow start last season, Sylvain battled injuries, yet was fourth in fourth on the Senators in scoring. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, probably good for uh, Turgeon, but bad for the Senators. Next up, we have Clark McArthur. McArthur closed the 2014-15 regular season with a seven-game point streak from March 31st through April 11th. He notched nine points during that span. Then you also have his OPG card here as well. Uh, next up then you have Jason Spezza. A tremendous two-way forward now in his third season with the Senators. Spezza is a great passer with unmatched vision for the play. He was he was in the top 10 in assists and top 20 in points late in 5 6 Next up, then, you have Connor Brown. Here's his Opeachy card. Here is his Ice Battles card. And here's his MVP card. Brown's first goal of 2020 sealed a 3-2 win over the host Canadians on February 4th. Always liked Connor Brown. He's obviously now Washington Capital. Next up, you have Rob Murphy. Uh, then you have Derek Stepan. Not sure. I'm trying to think of where Stepan is now. Uh, he went to Carolina. I don't think he's on a team anymore. On he might not even be on a team anymore, which is unfortunate. Stepan 
turned a behind the net takeaway into an insurance goal when he gathered his own rebound and scored in Ottawa's 5-3 victory over visiting Toronto on January 15, 2021. After that, then you have Brian Glenn. Chris Neal again. Not sure I messed that up. The physical frontliner entered the 2009-2010 season with 1,298 career penalty minutes, easily the top total in franchise history. Some cool stat there for Chris Neal, and I did not know I had two cards for him. Uh, next up, Chris Tierney. So Chris Neal to Chris Tierney. Uh, Tierney tied for, tied for the 2019-20 lead with 24 even strength assists. He recorded a season-high three points on December 9th, providing two helpers in taking advantage of a fumbled pass down the Bruins net to score the game-winning goal and down Boston 5-2. After that, you have an MVP card for Mike Hoffman. Hoffman's been on quite the journey since he left Ottawa. He was like in, went to San Jose for a little bit, and then he was on San Jose. Then he went to Florida, and then he went to St. Louis for a year, and now he's with Montreal for the foreseeable future. Once he gets traded. Next up, you have Neil Brady. Uh, Alex Kovalev. A three-time All-Star, Kovalev could reach both the 40, 400 goal mark and 1,000 point totals with another solid season in 09-010. After that, you have an oop, just like slipped out of my hand. After that, you have an all-star card for Anthony Duclair. Duclair recorded a hat trick as part of the four-point performance in the Atlantic Division's nine-to-five semifinal win over the Metropolitan Division on the 2020 NHL All-Star Game on January 25th. After that, you have Mika Zibanejad. Zibanejad had a hand in every Ottawa score. In every Ottawa score. Wait, what? Had a hand in every Ottawa what? Career score, punctuating his career game by setting up Eric Carlson's OT winner in a 43 victory over the Cura, over the Canucks on December 7th, 2014. That doesn't make any sense. He, like, improved his score. Next up, then, you have Rob Goudreau. Uh, a talented goal scorer, Goudreau is picked up by the Senators in the 20 NHL waiver draft just prior to the start of the short 94-95 season. He's a smart Finesse player who will play hard at both ends of the ice. After that, then, we have a couple cards for Matt Duchesne. We have this little tiny card. I don't have too many of these. I think the only other one I have is, like, a cross one, and I think I have a Vasilevsky one as well. And then you have his MVP card. After that, then, you have Chris Phillips. Phillips finished the 05-06 season ranked third in center history with 67 postseason games played. The top pick in the 96 NHL draft established a career high with 18 assists last season. Next up, we have Rob Kudelski. Pinnacle card there. We have a few cards here for Dmitry Flimanov. Interesting card there. One strong young blue liner for the Senators. Flimov has good size and a solid strides in his play last season. Originally drafted by the Winnipeg Jets in 91. He played three seasons with Moscow Dynamo before, jo before he joined Ottawa last season. Cool stats there for Flimov. Next up then we have a Drake Batherson card. Batherson scored twice in Ottawa's 5-1 to win over visiting Calgary on March 1st, 2021. Obviously, uh, Batherson has signed quite the contract since then. After that, then you have Ryan Dezingle. Dezingle helped the Senators improve their offense at 5-on-5, five five, scoring five even-strength goals over his first nine games in his return to Ottawa on March 2021. And you also have his Opeachy card there as well. Next up, you have Redeen. Bissanek. Cool card there. Redeem is still searching for his first NHL point after getting a six-game look from the Senators in 94-95. An excellent skater with a booming slap shot. He scored 13 goals, seven on the power play, and had a 26 assist in 49 OHL games with Belleville last season. He actually is a rookie, so I'm going to put that card aside. Next up, we have Troy Millett. There. 
Next up, we have the famous or infamous Cody Cece. Cece's first multi-point game of the 2016-17 season came on January 8th when the former Ottawa 67 stars filled up a pair of assists when the Senators 5-3 won over visiting Edmonton. After that, then you have Chris Kelly. Kelly had a pair of assists and a plus two mark as well as five shots on goal in the Senators' 7-1 home win versus Tampa on October 15th, 2009. Next up, we have uh, Alexi Ashen, quite the quite the player. Uh, the all-time leading scorer in Senators history, Ashen solidified his place atop the list in the team leading 75-point effort in 96-97. The four-year pro also made his playoff debut in the spring of 1997. Next up, we have a Hockey Draft 95 card, and it is for Mark Moto. So, cool card there. After that, then you have Braden Coburn. Coburn, interesting player. Uh, Coburn wrote his name on a Senators score sheet in his first game in Ottawa when he set up a, a goal in his new team's 5-3 season opening win over visiting Toronto on January 15th, 2021. After that, then you have Nick Paul. Paul became a fixture amongst the Senators' bottom six forwards in 2019-20. He topped 100 shots in his first 20-point season and scored the first game-winning goal of his NHL career when he crashed into the net to convert to convert a centering feed on October 27th against the San Jose Sharks. Always like Nick Paul. Obviously, he's with uh, the Lightning now. Next up, we have Mark Borowiecki. Borowiecki, the hero. Uh, Borowiecki led the Senators in penalty minutes for the second consecutive season in 2017-18 for the third time in four years. You know, I remember Borowiecki for um, his when he saved a Vancouver Canucks fan from a robbery. Um, back in 2020, and then he's kind of moved around since then. He's now with the Predators, if I'm correct. I'm not sure where he is now entirely. Next up, you have Curtis Lazar. Little sideways cam there. Lazar has been on quite the journey. He was on Ottawa, and then he went to the Sabres, then he was on the Bruins. Now he's on the Canucks, so he's been all over. Lazar led, the set, led all Senators forwards with 167 hits, 167 hits as a rookie in 2014-15, despite playing only 67 games. He also ranked fourth among the team's forwards with 40 block shots. Next up, you have Sean Hill. Two cards here for him. After that, then you have a Premier Hockey Jim Pake, if you can tell, it kind of like goes in the background of his head. A member of the two Stanley Cup playoff teams in Pittsburgh, Jim's number is in the Hall of Fame as the first Korean-born NHLer. So, Paik earned his place in history there. Next up, you have Pavel Dimitra. A top young prospect who has received considerably much less press than his herald. The teammates, Dimitra, had a good training camp, saw the beginning to the NHL career before he broke his leg two weeks into the 93-94 season. After that, you have Jesse Winchester. Winchester was an all-ECAC after a captain in Colgate University as a senior in 2007-2008. He signed as an undrafted free agent on March 5th, 2008. And the last of the players, you have Josh Brown. Brown scored his first game-winning goal in the NHL on December 7th, 2019. He scored his first second-period tally, helped the Florida Panthers defeat the visiting club's Blue Jackets 4-1. The defenseman was traded to the Ottawa Senators October 2nd, 2020. Then you have Matt Murray to begin the goalies. Matt Murray is obviously with the Leafs now. Murray backstop Ottawa to three consecutive victories in February 2021, a streak that capped by 2019 of 30 shots in a, in a 6-1 victory over visiting Calgary on February 25th. Hey, we already talked about that game. Next up, then, you have Craig Billington. For the goalies, after spinning, splitting time with Chris Terreri in New Jersey last season, Billington took over as the number one backstop for the Senators 93-94. A technically sound goalie, he made his first All-Star game appearance last winter. Next up, then, you have Dominic Hasek. Known as the legendary goalie. It does say Senators. I know he's in a Red Wings jersey. I'm not sure if you can tell that. It does say Senators. The six-time Vezina Trophy winner had a new address for this 0405 campaign, signing with the Ottawa Senators as a free agent. We know what happened in 0405. 
Next up then, you have quite the cards for Craig Anderson, starting off with his Opeachy card. Then his upper deck card. Anderson claimed that Bill Masterson the trophy for the perseverance and sportsmanship following the 16-17 season. Became the first Senators player to earn that honor. And then you have his um, Fleer Ultra card from 2014-15. Quite an old card. After that, you have Don Biorpe. I might be saying that last name wrong. If I, I probably am. If I am, I do apologize. I know I've probably butchered a bunch of names. Uh, after that, then you have Joey Decord. Joey Dacord. Uh, Dacord wasn't expecting to start on March 14, 2021, but when a last-minute lineup change put the rookie in the Ottawa crease, he made 15 of 33 saves in the third period and earned his first victory in a center's uniform, a 4-3 triumph over the visiting Maple Leafs. After that, then you have an Opeachy card for Anders Nilsson. And last but not least, you have Darmit Darren Medelli. Undrafted after three excellent seasons with the U.S. College Hockey of Lake Superior State of the CCHA, Medelli was signed by a free age, signed as a free agent by the Senators on June 20th in 1990. He was selected by NCAA West first All-American team in 91 and 92. So that'll do it for the Ottawa Senators hockey card collection. Uh, must I say. Quite the collection. That'll do it for the O-rated teams. We'll get into the P team and P teams and the next team that is the Flyers. And that is a huge collection. That could be a very, very long video. So be prepared for that. Uh, we did this in about 22 minutes. So anyways, thank you all very much for watching. For as poorly as I really do appreciate it. Let me know your favorite card in this uh, version of the collection. But yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.